All right, Shalom. First of all, I just want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Baal Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baal Shem, Rakah Kodash, Double Honest, our elder apostle, a great millstone that do her well, and salutations to the best of you, I can that's pushing his word and shoot his sincerity. All right, this is the brother Shemaiah, Yadiah, Yashari. And today we're going to go into a lesson on how uh, uh, the rest of this world, man, hey, they, they, they are the dead, man. All right, hey, man, all these people walking around, man, hey, they zombies, man. All right, they, they don't have to be eating flesh, man. All right, but hey, man, these people are, are, are walking dead, man. All right, they have no life in them, man. Okay? But I'm going to start with Matthews 8 and 19. And a certain scribe came and said unto him, Master, I will follow thee whithersoever thou goest. And Yahweh Shai said, uh, said unto, unto him, The foxes have holes, and the birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man hath not where to lay his head. And another of his disciples said unto him, Lord, suffer me uh, to go and bury uh, go and bury my father. But Yahweh Shai said unto him, Follow me and let the dead bury their dead. All right. So Yahweh Shai told that disciple, Hey man, let, let the dead bury their dead, man. All right. His father was physically dead. All right. But those people that was burying him, man. All right. Hey, they were spiritually dead, man. All right, so the Lord said, hey, go, let, let them bury their, let the uh, dead bury their dead, man. Okay? And now, <clears throat> I'm going to get Baruch. Shout the 4 and verse 1, it says, this is, this is the book of the commandments of Yahweh and the law that endure forever. All they that keep it shall come to life, but such as leave it uh, shall die. All right, man? So, hey, man, those, they, they didn't have the word of Yahweh by Shemel man. All right, that's why they considered the dead, man. All right, hey, if you don't have, if you don't have this word, man, all right, hey, you are, you are a part of the dead, man. Okay? I got this precept. This Proverbs 21 and 16. Says the man, you got it. Go ahead. Says the man that wandereth out of all, out of, out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. Yeah, man, this truth is the, uh, this truth, man, this wisdom, man, that's all it is in this world, man. Uh, that Baruch said, this is the book of the, uh, commandments of the Most High. It, uh, it says, those that come to it and keep will find life, roughly paraphrasing, but those that don't, man, you're gonna be dead spiritually, and you're gonna get a physical, uh, death, man, a uh, grievous one, too, man. I mean, yeah, man, uh, uh -huh. um, this is John 6 and 32. Then, um, Yahweh Shai said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Moses gave you not that bread from heaven, but my Father giveth you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of Yahweh is he which cometh down from heaven and giveth life unto the world. Then said unto, I mean, then said they unto him, Lord, evermore give us this bread. And Yahweh Shai said unto them, I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall never hunger, and he that believeth on me shall never thirst. So physically, man, and no matter what uh, amount of bread you eat, you still gonna be hungry um, eventually. And no matter what type of oil you drink, you still gonna be uh, thirsty eventually, huh? man. But this is that true life, man. This I see. Uh, this is that word, and Yahweh Shai is the word, pursuant to John the first chapter, man. So Yahweh Shai being the word, he is that bread of life. So people without this word. Are not living. That's why they are spiritually dead right now. That's why they they're like the dry bones that Ezekiel, I believe, thirty-seven chapter speaks about, man. That's why uh, people are in this estate because they are not living, man. It is they walk in um, sacks of death. Kind, kind, yeah. Well, but uh, hey, this word is life, like you say, and this word is love, man. You know, this love, this word is how you show your love. This word is is how you show life, man. This word teaches a man how to be a man. This word teaches a woman how to be a woman, man. You know, you can't be a woman. You can't say that you 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 are a true woman if you're not following the laws, statutes, and commandments of the Most High, or at least trying, man. You can't say that you're a man if you're not doing that. So, so therefore, you are dead, man. Okay. That's why a lot of our people they, they're walking zombies, man. And that's why the Lord say they pray not for the world. You know, so to all you people that who say, man, well, the Lord loved the whole world. And y'all try to come with the John uh, uh, 3 and 16. But but what it say in John uh, 17? You know, it's the same book, man. Right. You know, so it says uh, John 17. 
Um, in nine, it says, you know what? You know, I'm, I'm gonna start up a little bit, man. I'm gonna really start at verse eight. It says, for I have given unto them the words which thou gavest me. Hey, so like he said, man. Hey, he he sent uh, uh, these words are sent from the Father who sent them, man. You know, so in First Corinthians where it say, hey, the head of uh, of Yahweh Shai is, is Yahweh, and the head of Yahweh Shai is man. You know, roughly paraphrasing. Hey, man, hey, these words come straight from our Father, man. To anybody who's scoffing and say, oh, well, I just believe in uh, God. I just believe in the Father. I believe in the Holy Spirit. But, hey, man, there is a Lord and Savior that came out down, down here for our sins, man. And, you know, sent by his Father, man. So it says, for I have given unto them the words which thou hast gave as me. So, like, which thou gave, gave as me. And they have received them. And have known surely that I come out, that I came out from thee. And they have believed that thou didst send me. And who was that? It was that they, man. That's the elect, man. You know, the the, the, the people, the brothers who really believe that in our Lord and Savior, Howard Shah Mashiach, man. You know, it's going to be many called, but only few chosen, man. Mm -hmm. You know, that's why we fighting and hey, doing what we got to do to make our call and election sure, man. It says, I pray for them. I pray, I pray not for the world, but for them which thou hast given me. For they are thine. And, and that one third remnant is going to be filled with the uh, elect more so. But hey, the elect family as well. And, and, and the people who um, the Lord allowed to be saved with them, man. And that's why the brothers is doing what they got to do, man. Because we believe in our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai Mashiach. We believe in our Father, you know, Yahweh, man. We believe in it, man. And that's why we, do, we doing this for our salvation and for our family salvation, man. We don't want to be dead. You know, walking in the, in the streets, doing what the heathen do, man. You know? Sorry. Yeah, appreciate it. Mm -hmm. You got something? Uh, I, I, I just grabbed this real quick while you quote it this quick. Matthews 22 and 14, for many are called, but few are chosen. Uh, oh, well, hey, hey, you know, man, hey. Hey, we were chosen out of this world, man. All right, Matthew, I'm saying John uh, 15, man. All right, the Lord, Yahweh Shah shows us out of this world, man. All right, so we we don't we don't want to make that um uh, in vain, man. All right, many many are called, but few are chosen, man. All right, a lot of these Israelite camps, man. All right, they have partial truth. All right, they know that they're Israelites, but they 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 don't have the full doctrine like GMS, man. Uh, yeah, because you have to be spiritually aw uh, 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 awake, man. You know, like these people, they say that they they woke and, and all of these uh, woke. Activist people, you know, because every it's the people with the black and the white that just consider themselves woke. But are they spiritually woke? No, these people dead, man. Uh, you know, what uh, What was the scripture you have? Ephesians two and one. Oh yeah. It says, "And ye and you have he quickened, made alive, who were dead in trans and trespasses and sins, man. And that's what we all were, man. If you ain't in this truth, man. You dead in sins and trespasses." It says. Wherein in time past he walked according to the course of this world. We was in the world, man. We wasn't separated from the world, man. So we was doing all the wickedness that was of it. It says, according to the prince of the power of the air, that the, that the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience, mm. among whom also we all had our conversation in times past, and the lust of our flesh, fulfilling the, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature the children of wrath even as others man because we always uh had our had our uh folly man we always in this world uh doing all this foolishness man going to hell off and doing all this wickedness but the lord put that spirit on us and it quickened us it made us alive man right. and now we ain't, we ain't in a congregation of the dead man we ain't, we ain't the walking dead no more man you got jake ass out here walking around uh like with a with a steal with their body and shit but they dead uh, the walking zombies, man. They dead up in sin, man. They dead in trespasses, man. They fulfilling their desires, man, and it's killing them. Hey, hey, I guess like you know, on the cartoon, when you walk around that cloud over your head and the shit. Kind. You don't know what the hell going on. And then the Lord put that spirit on you, quickening you. Then now you're like, damn, man. okay, what's I'm, then that I'm light back. Bug. Yeah, the light bug pop out. You got it. Kind. Kind. Uh, you got. Uh, what? Oh, that, you had that's that's I got the back of my bitch in the same time. Uh -huh. Chopped this John. Uh, chapter 6 um, verse 63 it is the spirit that quickeneth the flesh proper to nothing the words that I speak unto you they are spirit and they are life 
So this, you know, the flesh, like we just talking about, the brothers talking about, you know, we got people out here just walking dead. The flesh, it probably nothing, man. The flesh has no profit, but the spirit brings you alive, man. You could be alive and dead, but the spirit brings you alive and make you alive, really um, alive, man. Just like the Baruch is talking about, man. Mm -hmm. The Baruch is uh, uh, commandments of life, man. If you if you uh, don't have it, you are you dead. You're gonna die twice. <laughs> But right. you know, man, it said they it said they are spirit and they are life. So it's just he's saying that this is a true life, man. Come. This is John, chapter 10 and verse 10. The thief coming not but to steal and to kill and to destroy. Alright? That's what Esau Edom does, man. If you following this man's ways, man, alright? Hey, you 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 gonna suffer the same death that he is, man. Are right, you hey, if you an Israelite, man, you don't wanna suffer the death of a heathen, man. All right, but hey, two thirds by people they are heathens, man. So you following after this, uh, 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 this, this thief, this robber, all right, this killer, this destroyer, man. All right, hey, you you go die right along with him, man. All right, but Yahweh Shai said, you know, I am come that they might have life, and that they might have, and that they might have it more abundantly, man. All right, so Yahweh Shai said he came to so we uh, can have life, man. All right, so we can come back to life. All right, he didn't. He he didn't come, uh, 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 so we can have death like Esau Edom has, man. All right, the Lord came came for us to uh, 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 come back into remembrance. All right, for us to be saved, man, for the elect. All right, so hey, you know, but you you can hit that um that John and prove that Yahweh has the word. I got you. This is John chapter one, and verse one. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with Yahweh, and the I mean, in the beginning um, was the word, and the word was with the um, powers, and the word was the powers. Verse 14, to so, uh, just jump down and prove that, it said, and the word was made flesh and dwelled among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. So this is basically, you know, proving what that um, the word is. When the uh, Yahweh Shai said he is the uh, bread of life, it's just proving that Yahweh Shai is actually the word. It said, um, beheld the glory of um, the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth, man. He walked as among us. He was made flesh. That's Yahweh Shai. Y'all got some? Okay. This is um, <coughs> this is Proverbs chapter 13, verse 13. Whosoever despises the word shall be destroyed but he that feared the commandment shall be rewarded all right so hey man if you if you despise the word of yahweh by shemir al shai man are right, you gonna be destroyed man you're gonna be double dead all right mm -hmm. so this says but he that feared uh the commandment shall be rewarded all right so hey man us fearing the commandment man us trying to keep these word these uh, uh law such commandments to the best of our abilities man all right we're gonna be rewarded for this man all right our labors are not in vain man Okay, hey, it, it is a reward at, at the end of this race, man. We ain't just doing this for no reason. Like Paul said, man, I, I, uh, uh, we we are not men that beat it at the air, man. All right, we ain't shadow boxing, man. All right, uh, we, we we fighting against uh uh yeah principalities and spiritual demons, man. Uh -huh. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey, uh, what that was it? Uh, no, I got one more precept, y'all. No, I, I, I wanna oh, okay. uh, keep reading real quick, man, cause uh. It says, just backing you up, it says on uh, verse 14, the law of the wise. So there is a, a wise law out here, man, that has to be followed, man, by you Israelites. This law is wise, man. It says the law of the wise is a fountain of life to depart from the snares of death, man. This is how you escape death. This is how you are dead because you don't know the law of life. No. Go oh, ahead, yeah, though. This is Ezekiel chapter 37, verse 1. The hand of Yahweh was upon me and carried me out in the spirit of Yahweh and set me down in the midst of the valley, which was full of dry bones. All right, which is you two third uh, Israelites. Well, Israelites who just didn't know the truth, man. And it says, and caused me to pass by them round about and beheld there, there were very many. In the open valley, and lo, they were very dry. And he said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, 
O Yahweh, thou knowest. Again, he said unto me, prophesy unto these bones and say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of Yahweh. All right, so we're supposed to prophesy unto uh, uh, our people, man. All right, because hey, right now, man, hey, the elect, some, most of the elect are dry bones, man. All right, so we have to keep on continuously pushing his word, prophesying the downfall of Babylon the Great, man. All right, uh, 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 trying to wake up our people to the best of our abilities, man, because hey, they dry bones. We got to uh, 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 get them this, um, this water, man. All right, and it says in verse 5, Thus said the Ahawah power unto these bones, behold, I will cause I will cause breath to enter into you, and ye shall live. And I will lay uh and I will lay uh, uh sunets upon you and will bring up flesh um upon you and cover you with skin and put breath in you, and ye shall live, and ye shall know that I am Yahweh. I'll say, yeah, that I am Yahweh. Alright? So hey man, hey, you 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 you're gonna live, man. Are right, you gonna get a uh, uh, flesh man body? All right, if you, if you a bone, if you got bones, man, you don't have any flesh or organs, man, you're dead. All right, so the Lord said, hey, he's, he's gonna give you flesh, all right, skin and bones, man. I'm gonna say, put skin over you, cover, cover you, man. All right, so hey, you 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 can have life, which is through these commandments, man. But hey, you know, with that, we want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto you. <laughs> Alright, we hope this lesson was edifying, man. Alright. And uh uh double outside elder pastor great millstone and shallow arm. A baba ball. A baba ball.